Welcome back to another installment of Detective Comics. Now, our last video, what we saw was these two new characters, the Mirror and Merelect Nakano. Now, Nakano, he was a police officer during the Joker War, and his partner died, and he vowed to go up against vigilantes, get rid of them. He wants Batman, the whole Bat family, gone, and that's why he's running for mayor. So he's taking a more better approach, right? He's not causing violence. Now, the Mirror, on the other hand, is rallying all these Gotham citizens who hate Batman, hate the all these vigilantes, and he's going to Gotham and protesting. And he's actually attacking the Bat family. He attacked the Bat family in our last video. So he's taking a more violent approach where Nakano is taking a more a better approach, guys. He's not killing anyone. He's not harming anyone. He's just trying to become mayor and establish laws. So, two different characters, but will they team up? Now, we also got Damian Wayne, who stole Batman's black case book, one off on his own. And by the way, Damian Wayne denounced being Robin. So, Damian Wayne and Bruce don't really have the best relationship right now, but that doesn't mean that Batman isn't worried. Batman is worried, and he's going to check up on his son, and he can't find him right now. Robin's on his own, but yeah, guys, that's where we are at, and all these plot points are going to come to a head in this issue. So, if you guys are ready, let's dive into Detective Comics, number 1031. Gotham C, weeks from the election, Nikano speaks to his wife on the phone in his office. I I'm trying to get a handle on the recent jump in crimes across the city. Yes, yes, I promise. Another hour, I'll be home. Love you too. Now, from the shadows, the mayor says, You never realize just how hard it is to run for office at first. Now, Nikano responds, Who? There. Batman, show yourself. Now, the mayor walks out. And he says, The promises, the sacrifices. I come bearing a gift, Christopher Nakano. And the Glock you're searching for is in my hands. Now Nakano says, I said, who the hell are you? And the Mir responds, I'm the Mir, the man who took your gun and can help deliver you the election. Nakano states, I have no interest in it being delivered to me. Mir says, the flash drive I laid on your desk is quite a bit to offer. But first, I'd like to invite you to a front row position at a special event I've organized. It'll help shine a light on a future vigilant, uh, vigilante, less Gotham, that you yourself are making more and more people aware of each day. Nakano stands up. Y you're just another mask. Why would I stand side by side with someone who goes against my beliefs? Mir looks at him. I am you, Nakano, and you are me. As I have told my brethren, this mask gives me my message clarity and focus. I will happily remove it once my work is done. Stand with us. Nakano looks at him. No, I will not be a focal point for this event. You are underway and whoever us is, Mir says. I was hoping you see that we're fighting for the same thing. I am incredibly disappointed by your response. Nakano says, I refuse to lower myself and sling mud at my opponents. I'd rather lose than win that way. Just I'd rather be here, in the trenches, unlike everyone running against me from their glass towers. So take your flash drive, which I won't be putting fingerprints on or downloading onto my computer. Mir looks at Nakano in the face. You will lose this election, Mr. Nakano, and these so-called trenches are nothing like the battlefields Gotham will soon turn into. Nakano says, I've always seen Gotham as a battlefield. That's why I'm running. Now we see elsewhere, these two boys. This one boy put a bat signal on the wall. Now another boy comes by and starts exiting out. You're a whoosh. Now the boy who put the symbol on the wall says, Hey, what are you doing? He smacks the other boy in the face and says, You just saw me dropping that tag. Now the other boy slams the one boy into the wall. You're a slam at frack. Now the boy says, I don't give a crap. I'm dropping my own tag and it's over yours. They start fighting. But that's when one of the boys are lifted up. And he says, who the hell? Get your hands off me. Batman. Now Batman says, that's enough, you two. And the other boy says, all right, Batman. And the one boy points his finger and says, see, no matter where you go, there's a vigilante on every corner looking to break heads. The other boy says, the only head Batman's breaking is yours for starting this. Batman puts both of the boys down on the ground. 
I'm not breaking any heads. Go home and stop destroying public property. Now the boys go home, and Batman looks at the symbol. A, he says, this is Batman. Transmit me on secure Bat Family comps. After what occurred on the roof as scenario, I just broke up. Something's brewing. I just don't know what yet. Stay vigilant while I keep looking for Robin. Now we see his detective. She's at our home. She pours a glass of wine. Now she says, Cleo. She walks down the hall. Here, Cleo. Where's my beautiful girl? Now she walks into the living room. She says, Mommy's home, Anne. But that's when we see Damien in a chair. He says, no need to worry, Detective Podolsky. Ugh, Cleo is very comfortable at the moment. We see Damien in a chair with the cat, Cleo, in his hand. Now the detective says, Get out of my house this instant or I will. And you hear a meow. Now Damien says, You'll do nothing. But tell me all about your involvement many years ago in attempts to murder a young Bruce Wayne. Now the detective says, Um, that was pure happenstance. That I landed the lead on some of those Wayne cases. Damien says, Oh, not just some, but all of them. Detective, and you're also happy to be the only detective to survive since those cases. Isn't that right? Now the detective states, Just lucky, I guess. Damien smiles. He says, we both know it was more than luck, don't we, Catherine Elliott? The same Catherine Elliott who is a half-sister to the father of notorious criminal mastermind, Hush, a.k.a. Tommy Elliott, by a rather sordid affair that was swept under, under the rug. The same Catherine Elliott who made many demands until she was finally cut off when Tommy discovered her existence. The same Catherine Elliott who was more than willing to accept secret wild cash payments to help little old Tommy's plan by signing off on the case as unsolved. What you're going to do, Detective Podolsky, is walk right up to your precinct captain and turn yourself in. Now, Detective Podolsky responds. The evidence, huh? What makes you think I listen to you? You're just a kid. We had disguise and pretending to be some superhero vigilante. Now, Damien says, And you've been wearing the disguise of a cop and a detective, and unfortunately, you have been acting like either one. Now, Detec Detective Podolsky pulls out a gun. She points it at Damien. She says, No way in hell am I turning myself in and destroying all the years I put into this badge, even if I have to shoot a kid. Now, Damien says, t t he takes the gun out of her hand, and he says, I've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with my mom, who, by the way, used to lead the League of Assassins. So I'm afraid you're a bit of a lightweight. Now you see the detective. She is tied up into her chair. Now Damien walks away, but he concludes with, Your fellow cops should be here soon to get you and the evidence I've left behind on the door, and which I've emailed to the Mia. They're going to eat you alive, detective. Don't worry, I'll find Cleo a good home. Now we shift a Batman on a rooftop. He says, I'm seeing small gatherings of people wearing no bat shirts, walking with a purpose, and growing in numbers with each block. Now when we see Batgirl and Nightwing, they see the same thing. We see Red Hood and Batwoman in downtown. They see the same thing. Different protesters. We see Duke, the signal, and Cassandra came Batgirl. They're watching. And they say how the mirror, he's holding a press conference, and he's having the speech. The mirror says, My friends, we are a wave of sanity, and this is our time to grow. If you are tired of feeling helpless, scared, and worthless, this is your moment. Batman says, I'm watching the digital feed of their mirror character through my cow. Are y'all all, all gain? And then he hears on his computer. Damien Wayne evidence, scan and upload. Batman says, just received word from the cave computer on possible whereabouts for Damien. If I don't move on it, I may not be able to pick up his trail again for weeks. Batgirl says, go find Damien. Nightwing says, and leave the flash mob to us. Batman shoots his grappling hook, you hear a boom. And Batman says, this has gone too big. We need to get in there and help keep this peaceful. Finding Damien is going to have to wait. I'm seeing another mass of people coming in the opposite direction. Now, Mir continues to say on the TV, It is time to draw the mask out, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We all want our city back. And Gotham will thrive and grow once the vigilantes are finally extinct. And if that extinction has to come as to resolve violence, so be it. We must act. And act now. No sleep until the masks are on the pure of transparency, including mine. 
when all is said and done. Follow me. Now, the mirror leads all his rallies. And by the way, we also saw on the TV as he was giving the speech, Penguin was watching, Two-Face was watching, Nakano was watching. Everyone around the sea is seeing this mirror guy. Now, we see Batman and the Bat Family, they tr jump off this rooftop. Now, the mirror continues to uh, rally his uh, Gotham assistants, and they walk. The mirror says, Gotham Rise, your mission is to take a long, hard look at yourself in the mirror and ask what you see. And just who are you all so supposed to be? Now, we see these different citizens who are against the mirror. They want Batman and the Vigilantes to stay in Gotham. They're dressed as the Signal, dressed as Batman, dressed as Nightwing. They're all dressed as Vigilantes. Now, they say how many times the Batman and all these Vigilantes have saved Gotham City from lunatics like the Joker, from other masks. And they say how you're going against your own thing. About how you're against masks, but you're wearing masks. They're saying how the mirror, he's wearing masks, and it contradicts his points. Now, the mirror says, You fools are delusional. The good masks and the crazies are at the door because they're intertwined. They each exist due to the other. They feed off each other. And if you're too blind to see that with your own eyes, maybe you don't need your eyes after all. Now, the mirror punches this man in the face. You're all whack. Now, that's when we see this whole fight break out between people who are for Vigilantes and people who are against Vigilantes. With the mirror in the middle, you see this big fight. The Bat family comes swinging in. They try to stop the fight, but they get overwhelmed. Now, that's when we see the mirror. He's fighting, but Batman comes behind him. Batman catches him. And he says, this ends now. Whoever the hell you are, I've had enough of my city being held hostage by psychos. Now, the mirror says as he punches Batman. So have we, Batman. So have we. They continue to fight. You hear a bunch of blows. Batman punches the mirror back and forth. The mirror punches Batman. Batman narrates. Ugh, the style, the reflective gear. He has the hallmarks of the Underbroker. But this fight isn't the Underbroker's fight. Whoever this is, is someone new. Shouldn't take anything for granted. Surprisingly, there's some skills here. But not the kind that would put me on my heels. Exhaustion, dehydration, are clawing at me after these last few days. Re Reflex is slow. Focus and put him down before... Batman kicks Mir in the face and he says, Stop! This part of the river is deadly. The currents are, the Mir says, I'm in an idea now, an idea stronger than flesh. When there's a being, I'll be there. When there's injustice, I'll be there. Now, Batman watches as Mir jumps out and the Mir says, When vigilantism comes to an end, I'll be here. All true missions, Nia. Martyr. Now you hear a boom as the mirror disappears. And all these protesters go behind Batman and try to push him off. They see they say, Batman push him off. Batman is bad. He's the problem. But that's when Batman looks back and shouts. Don't you understand after all this time? Can't you see what's in front of your eyes? We fight for Gotham. When I was younger, forces beyond my control, forces that were allowed to grow and fester by corrupt institutions, failed me. They destroyed my life. I put this mask on to prevent that from happening to others. These people who have joined me, they were failed to and they seek to help the same as I do. We don't look for or want thanks. We do it because this is our community, our community, our city too. We wear a mask not to protect ourselves, but to protect the lives of others, our families, friends, and associates. We fight for you in the sea because we hope one day we won't be needed at all. Now I ask, please head up back to your homes. Now, that's when Nightwing calls. Batman, we're making our way through the crowd. And we'll wrap this up soon. Batman says, are you sure? Nightwing responds, yeah. Head out and find Robin. We'll go o over the after action report later. Batman listens and he says, Understood. We'll update you all at later after my search. Batman goes off, but he doesn't know that the Bat family are kidnapped. Hush is with them. Hush says, A wonderfully motivated performance. You're no longer in need of this comlink. Consider yourself disconnected. Nightwing says, You son of a... The comlink is disconnected. And Hush says, You better be lucky enough to see another day. Now sleep, little Nightwing. Hush knocks Nightwing out. And now he has all the Bat family in captivity. Will Batman save them? How will Damian Wayne factor into all this? And what is the mirror's next plans? Well, we'll find out next time on Detective Comics.
So yeah guys, that was Detective Comics number 1031, and I honestly really like this issue. First off, the beginning with Nakano and the mirror was really cool. I like how Nakano actually rejected Mir. Because yes, they have the same beliefs, but they're taking different routes of executing these beliefs, right? The mirror is more violent. Nakano wants to go by the law. I like that. Nakano is a very interesting character that Tomasi has crafted here, and I really like him. Now the mirror, he's also pretty good too, but I feel like he's nothing really new. We see this whole thing of oh Gotham Sis against the Batman, against the Vigilantes, and there's a leader, and that's who the mirror is in this storyline. I still like his design, he looks dope, and I like how he says, I am the mirror, I am pretty much what people want in Gotham City, I'll take out the mask when everything is said and done. I like that. It was cool seeing him off against Batman, that whole scene was great, the action was really well done. Guess the artwork in this issue, I liked it. It fit the tone perfectly, and the action really shined, especially the Batman and Mirror fight. Like the double page spread and all the different panels, it was clean, it was fast paced, it never let up which I really appreciate. Now, other parts of the issue, we have the Bat family who joined Batman. They fought off against these protesters. They, they're trying to establish order in Gotham City. Now, it is cool seeing all these Bat family members here, but they don't do nothing much other than fighting off these protesters and join Batman. So I hope they get more scenes in the upcoming issues, which I think they will, determining on that ending, which we'll get to soon. But yeah, guys, before we get to the ending of the issue, which is huge, let's talk about that Damian Wayne scene, where Damian Wayne just shows up to this detective's home and pretty much takes this girl down, guys. Detective Podolsky, and now she's gonna be taken in, and to the police and stuff, she loses her badge, but she was actually a bad cop right, she's a bad detective, which Damien in this scene, he's really good guys, he's not a brat he's off on his own, he's more standalone, he's smart he shows he's an assassin when he takes the gun away from her, I really like how Tomasi writes Damien and he's probably the best one to write Damien, he literally did a Super Sons uh, comic which, by the way, there's another Super Sons comic coming out next month, December 14th, called Challenge of the Super Sons, which I'm really excited for but it just shows that Tomasi writes Damien so well. And I'm liking his characteristics in the storyline. Now, guys, about the ending. Batman leaves. He thinks the Bat family has all these protesters under, under control. But what actually happened was Hush. Guys, seeing Hush show up and kidnap Nightwing was a great ending. I'm a big fan of Hush. I like that whole storyline, Batman Hush. It's really good storyline. One of the best Batman stories of all time. And Hush, he's just a great villain. So to see that he's in the storyline and Tomas is going to be writing him next issue, I'm actually intrigued and very excited. But yeah, guys, we only have two issues left in the storyline. A lot to cover. But I believe Tomasi will bring it all together and give us a satisfying conclusion. But yeah, guys, overall, I'm going to give this issue, Detective Comics number 1031, an 8.7 out of 10. I recommend it, guys. It's another great issue in this series. Now, tell me your thoughts on this issue down below. And guys, if you like the video, give a big thumbs up and make sure to comment, uh, subscribe, and the notification bell so you miss my next Detective Comics review. We have issue number 1032 coming up next month, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys. Thanks for watching, and peace out.